Hey guys, it's Reagan, and I got new glasses. I'm not going to wear them through the duration of this video because of glare. I just see it going happening and it drives me crazy when I wear glasses, but I thought I'd show them off in this video. I'm a big fan. I think they're fun. If you're wondering, I got these glasses and my last glasses from Warby Parker. Big fan of them. Also very affordable. Not sponsored by Warby Parker, though I wish. No, but um, yeah, so these are new. I also will still wear my old ones. I just like having variety in my life. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So, today's video I think is going to be pretty fun. It's basically like a pre-book haul book haul. I've gotten some fun bookish packages in the mail that I haven't even opened yet, and I just thought it would be kind of fun to unbox them and haul everything for you guys today. So, yeah. Here they are. One of them has newspaper, one of them doesn't. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the smaller of the two here and just rip it off. Ooh, let's down. All right, and this was sent to me by Tortine, and I think it has to do with Brandon Sanderson, which of course everyone should know that is a buzzword for happiness in my life. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and it's a Brandon Sanderson ARC promotion box, which again, like my favorite thing, and I'm just unearthing this. Oh, there's little blue worms going everywhere. Ah! So the first thing I see in this little bundle here, ah, I dropped something, is a uh, Brandon Sanderson, The Bands of Mourning bookmark, and it's signed by Mr. B. Sands himself, which is very exciting. I'm going to put this in one of my many Brandon Sanderson books, because I don't have anything signed by him. I've never met him. I would love to. He's everything. <laughs> and the next thing I see in here is a vial of glitter, which seems like a great way to get someone to hate you. Oh, I see. So this is supposed to replicate the um, the vials of metals used by Alamancers in the Mistborn trilogy. Basically, they use vials of metals, they consume them as such, like this, and then they that's like how their magic system works. So that's so cool. This is like a bottle of Alomantic. That's not a word. And now we're going to un- twine this little guy here. So the first thing I see is a poster, which I believe is the new covers for Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarian by Brandon Sanderson. This is a middle grade series that has been out, but I think they're repackaging it, um, which I think is really fun, and I'm glad because I kind of wanted to get new, like, different editions than the ones that are out. And of course I have the arc of said that. And so this is a middle grade series that I hear is absolutely hilarious. Like, I hear fantastic things about this. Basically it follows a 13 year old um, orphan who on his 13th birthday receives a bag of sand from his parents, his inheritance. And he doesn't think much of this bag of sand until a group of evil librarians steal it and then that's kind of the start of the adventure. I'm really excited about this. I've been really wanting to read this for a long time and I think there's illustrations throughout this. Yes, there are. Very exciting. I don't know if the other editions had the illustrations and maybe that's why they're re-releasing these. Very exciting. I've said that word a lot. And the next thing I see here is something really cool. It is a newspaper. It is a newspaper from the world of the second Mistborn trilogy, um, like Ally of Wollon world. And it's so cool. I don't really want to hold this up very much because I don't want to explain much about the second trilogy, but essentially it takes place after the events of the um, the first Mistborn trilogy, but it is a flintlock fantasy and involves like the magic system from the first novel, but also involves guns, which is really cool. And I also got a arc of the second one, The Bands of Mourning, which is very exciting. It's a Mistborn novel. I never thought I would ever get this. All right, so that was my first box. Time to open the second box. It has an R for Reagan. That's my name. And it is full of also a lot of things and more worms. This box was sent to me by Chronicle, so thanks Chronicle. The first thing I see here is The Vanishing Throne by Elizabeth May. This is the sequel to The Falconer, which I read last year, which is a young adult fantasy series following a girl who hunts fairies or evil fairies. It, it ended on a huge cliffhanger, so I'm definitely interested to see where this series takes off. I'm excited to have an arc of this a little early. The thing I see in here I'm pumped about. It is letterpress note cards and envelopes, and they're so cute. I can never have enough stationery in my life because I just, I just can't. Oh, I'll zoom in. How cute these are. They're literally my up is a book I have no idea what it's about, but it's called Once Was a Time by Layla Sales. I've definitely heard of that author, and this looks to be a middle grade novel. 
Um, and I think it just explores a young friendship, which is something I always really appreciate, and I think it has something to do with them being two different time periods. I'm not quite sure though. I'm interested to find out. Next up we have something really awesome. It's called A Well-Read Wom well Women, and it's a reader's journal. So this is something you use, yeah, it's something you use to keep track of everything you've read like book title author plot notes character notes favorite quotes so you can literally i can use this to track down every book i've read this year or the future and throughout it, it has really pretty watercolors this is very exciting to me and will keep me organized i hope lord knows i need all the help i can get next up is another journal that i actually find to be probably one of the funniest things i've ever seen in a while and it is a journal just a like a note journal, but if you'll notice the cover, I'll zoom in a bit, has all these authors, but they're all like, they're punk edits of these famous people, of famous authors, like Mark Twain has like, like seriously like a, par a pop punk outfit on, Emily Dickinson has punk monk shirt on, like it's so funny. I love it. And the last thing I'm going to show off in here is The Enchanted Forest, which is something I love. I absolutely love coloring books and I'm really excited to have a copy, another copy of this, so I can give it away to a family member of mine because I feel like coloring is such a great activity that all adults need to do. It's relaxing, it's lovely, and it's just, you know, it's, it's all those things. Alrighty guys, that is my little random bookish unboxing. I had those boxes lying around and I really, really want to show them off to you. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you guys soon with another one. Bye!